and welcome to another video. Um, so in this third episode of um, possible Minecraft updates, I'm doing brewing. Um, so basically, um, I'm not really going to be touching uh, brewing stands really in this because I think they're a fine um, you know system as they are and. Uh, uh, I'm just going to leave them alone. I'm going to mainly focus on the cauldrons. Um, and, it, uh, you know, just, you know, at making them useful, basically, in brewing. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. So, um, what I was thinking was that you could, uh, uh, basically, you'd have to boil the water. Now, you could do this with, like, heat sources, so, like, a torch uh, would be slow. Uh, fire on the netherrack would be medium and lava would be fat and you know the boil water would boil really quickly and it, uh, um, You know and maybe you can have it say that uh, if you stand in a, a cauldron of boiling water it does uh, damage to you um, uh, Maybe you can have it so that uh, water boils inst instantly in a cauldron in the nether um, but anyway, anyway once the water has boiled uh, you just throw in your items, uh, so like never wart, then wait for a little bit, and then that would. Uh, um, well, the shadow goes through the cauldron. That's funny. Uh, you know, you know, turn that into a awkward potion, I believe, and then you throw in your blaze powder, and then that would make it into a uh, fire resistance potion. Um, then you just like throw in like. Uh, now you want to boost it, so like if you want to make it longer, you throw in, um, I believe, redstone to make it longer, and glowstone to make it more, no, redstone to make it more powerful, glowstone to make it longer, then just like, um, and then gunpowder to make it into splash potions, um, or maybe not have that part and just have that be a, um, brewing stand only thing, um, now you may be like, but Nintendo Switch Brit, this is uh, longer and uh, more complicated than the brewing stands and also a bit more glitchy with the fire actually coming through the bottom of the cauldrons. Uh, why would uh, I want to use this over the brewing stand method where, you know, method where that, you know, obviously is quicker, easier, uh, and everything. Well, um, also I've just got another potion here, but... Uh, there would be a rare chance for the potion the potions, potency to be increased by one. So like uh, speed for six minutes would then become speed two for six minutes because six minutes is like uh, the uh, longest time but so you can only get speed one of it but uh, if you get the small chance to increase the potency uh, you'd get speed two for six minutes and if you had the speed two in there and you got the small chance of potency, then it would uh, give you speed free, and this would be the only way you could get uh, level three potion effects in uh, you know legitimate potion Minecraft. Um, well, like commands and stuff. Uh, also, I was thinking of like adding some new, um, you know, some new potions. Um, so, Warren Flesh would uh, give you Potion of Hunger, so this is very self-explanatory, you throw at your opponent, they get hungry. Uh, iron uh, Nugget or Ingot could be used to make Potion of Resistance, because right now you cannot get Potions of resist Resistance. Uh, slime Ball will give you potions of bounciness, Potion of Bounciness, and that would basically just like make you bounce when you hit the ground as if the, everything was a slime block. Uh, bottle of Honey will give you a Potion of Stickiness, and this would basically, you know, do the same as this, but everything's sunny um, instead of slime. And the pill would give you potion of warping, warping that uh, when you take damage, you warp away, um, you know, a few blocks. Wither rose would give you potions of withering. Um, again, just like uh, potions of hunger, very self-explanatory. You throw it at your opponent, and they get uh, the wither effect. Um, and uh, uh, that is uh, pretty much everything, but I really do like um, 
you know, this, because it, um, it keeps the old method, which most people are familiar with, so it's not forcing people to switch to this method. That is just a um, alternative with a um, bonus of a rare chance of getting uh, potion uh, potency increased by one. So it's just like, um, it's more of an alternative method than a straight up replacement to um, the old brewing system. Um, and it would uh, add more potion effects and I think these potion effects are very Minecrafty. Like I tried to think of, I didn't want to like be like, oh, if we introduce this new mob with this that does this with that and drops this new item, we can make potions of resistance. But uh, I uh, ended up going uh, ended up going with iron because I wanted to go with a mob drop, but there's no real mob drop that uh, really said to me this could be used to make potions of resistance. So I just went for iron. Nuggets or ingots. Now the reason why I put nuggets or ingots is because I prefer nuggets because it makes a bit more sense because uh, Nuggets have a lot smaller surface area and you know melt easier So uh, it would be more viable for it to melt in this and an iron ingot But it seems a bit cheap for potions of resistance uh, Which would be fairly powerful uh, Slime balls uh, uh, the potion of bounciness and potion of stickiness uh, the two that I'm kind of like, I would like them to be in the game, but they probably wouldn't feel very Minecrafty. They'd feel more like a modded item, probably in my opinion. But um, they they're not so, they're not they're not too out there. Uh, Potion of warping is closer to not feeling like a modded item, but still, in my opinion, a little bit. And with a rose, just like Potion of hunger and uh, Potion of resistance. Feels very Minecrafty. Like, uh, I'm surprised they don't. You can't already do this. Um, to be honest, because wither, while the wither effect is very powerful, especially in PvP, uh, the wither rose is very difficult to get a hold of because you need to like have the wither kill an entity, especially in Bedrock, where the wither just goes through everything really easily. So, yeah, and the only um, other way I would I could think of like making a uh, wither potion of withering is uh, giving wither skeletons a chance to drop wither bones which would then be used for potion of withering but that uh, seems too minecrafty for uh, this in my opinion uh, too modern minecraft uh, sorry not minecrafty enough in my opinion for you know to be really be added um, and I, I and I don't want to uh, go into these videos just, just like every time just like, Oh, add a new drop to a m or a new mob, and then that mob makes this feature better or something. Um, but I don't want to be like, oh, there's a mob that way if you feed it rotten flesh, it gives you emeralds. Like, you, know, you could just do that with villagers. But you get my, you get what I'm trying to say here. I, I don't want to just slap a mob to fix all of this. It's just like I want to try and the. Um, improve upon the foundation of you know basic bedrock that I, basic Minecraft that I have, um, and I think these are at least decent. Like I do, I do like the idea of like uh, the bounciness, uh, stickiness, and warping potions. Um, but again, they do just feel a little bit more like modded bedrock than the rest of these, uh, modded Minecraft than the rest of these. Um, so yeah. That's how I would update uh, brewing in Minecraft. Um, but let me know. Let me know. What do you uh, think? Do you think that um, this is a good idea, a bad idea, or uh, can you? Do you like the uh, new potions that I uh, would add, or do you not like them? And what potions would you add that? Uh, you know, to the game uh, and what items would uh, be needed to brew them. Uh, let me know all that uh, and uh, whatever else you want to say down in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next thing I do. Bye bye.